everyone, this is Travis from the Steel Magnolia doing a modification on our 2006 Trail Manor 2720. Um, and it has to do with this particular toilet. That's the uh, Thetford Recirculating Toilet. And this is the diagram that shows all the different parts that I use and basically how it goes together. Um, you should be able to stop on this and look at it and after you watch the video some of this will either make a whole lot of sense or you'll be totally confused one or the other. Uh, basically once I got uh, the part made for the toilet itself uh, I took a 2 inch 12 volt fan rounded off the corners so that it would fit inside of this 2 inch black PVC coupling pardon me rubber coupling and then it's got a two inch by one inch PVC adapter pushed in at each end, which basically pushes up against the little fan. And then once all that's in place, uh, the clamps are on, holds it into place. The next step is using uh, a bilge hose and this size bilge hose will fit up inside a one inch PVC coupling. And that coupling that we're looking at is actually an inch and a quarter by one inch. Uh, this is a short nipple of pipe with a coupling attached and I did that so that I could uh, install the PVC hose in there. Basically the PV hose just slides up in there rather forcefully and then I put in a screw to hold it in place. This is kind of an, a general overview and you can see that I'm pointing to that PVC T that's in place and I had to cut the OEM vent line, the original vent line and this is it attached. That's the part coming out of the toilet and uh, uh, that was uh, made with an inch and a half to one inch adapter and then a short nipple and uh, then a 90 degree elbow. A little bit of tape on the bottom of that and it's pretty much a friction fit down in there. Uh, I installed a switch and I tied into the power that was inside the bathroom cabinet. I got a monitoring light so that it's on. So let's take a look at a little bit of video that I shot. Okay, that's the hole that's cut in. This is mounted and complete. Now the, the joint between here and here uh, will not be glued. That way I can take this apart for servicing. I'll put a screw in the top of it and basically I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'll turn it on. And that's got a little suction on it, just a little bit. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Everything went together really well and uh, was very pleased with the final installation of everything. I did not glue the PVC joints on the original black vent pipe that I cut, the one pictured here. It was a very tight fit and there should never be water in that area and uh, so I really didn't worry about that. I did add my screw into that to hold it in place because that's not glued. Let me tell you what I did just for testing since the toilet is empty and semi clean I took an, uh, a paper towel and opened the toilet laid the paper towel in the bottom and put a can of PVC cement down inside the toilet uh, while the little fan was running and put PVC cement on the paper towel okay uh, if you've ever worked around PVC cement, it only takes a little bit to really be able to smell it. Well, I'm, I'm getting right down here with it. 
and I smell no PVC cement. So it is evacuating fumes from the bowl here. So if it's, if it's removing odors from here, then it is pulling air down in and out to here and pushing them outside. Thank you so much for taking time to uh, look at the video today. Since this was shot, uh, we have used the system and it did keep the odors evacuated. So it was a night and day difference inside the camper. No chemical smell, no poo smell, all very nice. One thing to keep in mind though, you have to have water in the pea traps for the lavatory in the kitchen or it could push the odors back up through the sink. As long as you got water in the pea trap, it's fine. Okay, that ends the video. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you taking time to visit with us today. This is Travis from the Steel Magnolia saying thanks. Have a blessed day.